Hi again, friends, here on LibertyFlames.com. We welcome you to Worthington Stadium as we get set for the 2012 baseball season. Flames pick second in the Big South Conference preseason polls, and we're joined by head coach Jim Toman on the day of the first official team practice. And, uh, Coach, before we get into that, let's talk about the uh, nostalgia here this moment. This is actually going to be the last 2012. 2012 will be the last season here for Worthington Stadium. Yeah, Worthington Stadium has been a great place to play ball. Uh, coach Worthington started the program. The stadium's named after him, and, you know, originally we are going to build a stadium down here, but uh, the chancellor decided that it would be a better uh, uh, opportunity uh, for people to see the games up closer towards the football field. And uh, Worthington State is still going to be used uh, for the uh, softball program, and they're excited to, to come over here. So uh, Worthington Stadium will remain here, and uh, hopefully in 2013, we're going to head up the hill there. Uh, right on the other side of David's place with a brand new stadium. So we're excited about that. We're excited about starting the practice today. Had pretty good weather, a little bit uh, windy, but 60 degrees and sunny, you know, we'll sign for that. Yeah, this is a stark contrast to what it's been here the last couple of years. Uh, I think we've been out here shoveling snow uh, yeah. last year. Yeah, several years. This is the beginning of my fifth year and probably two or three of the four years that I've been here, uh, you know, we've had a foot of snow on the, on the field. Uh, we've been uh, lucky so far. The weather's been cooperating. We had a great practice today. The guys have a lot of energy, a lot of bounce to their step. We're going to head over to the weight room to get a little bit stronger, and then we're going to scrimmage tomorrow and Sunday. Well, let's talk about some of the new guys on the team this year. Obviously, you had seven guys drafted last year. That was a program record. Mm -hmm. uh, you had another guy signed with the Baltimore Orioles. You did get one of those draft picks back in Blake Forsland, but Certainly a lot of guys to replace this year. How do you feel about some of the new faces coming in? Well, they had a good fall, and uh, half the team is new. We have 16 newcomers and 16 returners. We have 32 guys on the roster right now. We only have three returning starters, uh, Ian Parmley and uh, Mike Robertson and Zach Haley are the only three position starters, and we only have one pitcher back, uh, John Nigley, that had over 30 innings. So this is the least amount of innings back on the mound, the least, least amount of position starters returning, but – I don't feel like we're rebuilding. I feel like we're getting after it, and I think we're going to be just as good as we've been in the past. Uh, the guys had a very good fall. You know, we're going to have to plug in six or seven position players, new guys, and then we've got about you know, 17, 18 pitchers that we're going to choose from, try to figure out their roles here in the next 17 days. You mentioned one of those guys in Ian Parmley, and we're going to talk to him here in just a couple of minutes. But uh, this is a transitional year for him. He's still going to play some outfield, but mm -hmm. you're going to be able to use him on the mound a little bit as well. How do you like uh, the way he's looked so far? He did really well. He got guys out in the fall. He played well. You know, he, We're going to put him in left field, and uh, we're going to lead him off again. Hopefully he'll still – I think he stole 27 bags last year and got on base for us. But uh, he has a chance to be in our rotation as a pitcher too. Last year we had some veterans. We had Keegan Linza. They won, I think, 11 games, and Stephen Evans they won seven or eight, and both of them guys were drafted, and had Garrett Baker, who's also drafted, and we had some arms. I mean, we had the least, I think we had the least amount of walks we've had for 20 years here and the lowest ERA since 1991. So we had some arms last year, so we didn't really use Ian on the mound. This year, uh, he wants to pitch. He had a good fall. He got guys out. He don't throw extremely hard. But he knows how to get guys out, and he's a left-hander. So we're going to throw him out there, and hopefully he'll be a good two-way guy for us. Talk about some of your run producers now on the offensive side. Mike Robertson, your leading returning hitter, was about a 316 clip last year. Uh, how much are you going to be relying on him to, uh, to produce runs in the middle of the lineup? Well, to start the season, uh, he'll probably be in the three-hole. And uh, we'll probably lead off Ian and uh, maybe a newcomer, Adam uh, or Andy Smith, uh, from Bellevue. So we may go with an all-Bellevue Community College outfield. And uh, they got a really good program out there, and these guys are hard-nosed, and they play hard. But uh, you, you'll probably see six or seven new faces in the lineup, and uh, it'll take a while to figure out exactly who's going who's gonna to be playing, and especially the pitching, uh, the, ro the roles with the pitching staff. Uh, we'll figure that out. I think we have 17 practices to our first game. And, uh, you know, we're just uh, – you know, blessed that uh, we had good weather today and looks like tomorrow we're going to have good weather and Sunday. So uh, the guys are fired up and we're ready to go. Uh, we obviously for the last four years basically have been a second to, to, Clem or to, or to Clemson yeah, then too, uh, to Coastal Carolina. But uh, we need to catch them and pass them and we need to get in the regional. We, we set some records here and uh, we're happy about that. You know, the conference wins record we did three times, the 42 wins the school record. 
you know, the strikeout record, hit by pitch record, doubles record. But we all know that we want to win the Big South Conference, get ourselves a ring, and get into the NCAA postseason and see what we can do there. Absolutely, and uh, that'll all start on February 17th. Uh, and when you head down to Charleston, South Carolina, you take on Richmond and Towson for two in the Citadel. How do you feel about the, the beginning of the schedule? Well, you know, play four games out of the shoot, and uh, – We'll be on the road. We'll play at a nice pro park down there. Coach Jordan does a nice job with the Citadel program, and they have a bunch of tournaments early in the season. It'll be a little bit warmer weather for us down there. And it'll be, give us a chance to figure out who's going to pitch. And I could see us pitching 15 or 16 guys uh, the first weekend just to try to figure out who's going to get out for us and get their feet wet and give everyone an opportunity. So I look to probably pitch a lot of guys on that first weekend. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to it. Thanks a lot for the time, and uh, look forward to catching up with you again here soon. Okay, Nick, thanks a lot. Okay, and now we're joined by Liberty Flames senior outfielder and pitcher Ian Parmley here on LibertyFlames.com. And, uh, Ian, we were talking with Coach Stoneman a couple of moments ago. He was very impressed with you and your work in uh, fall ball. When was the conversation first had that you were going to be a pitcher this year? Um, it was up in the air last year for the whole season, and uh, this year my arm felt good. And since we lost so much pitching last year, and I pitched a lot in junior college that they decided to bring me back, got back on the mound, came back pretty quick, and I was able to get guys out. How much is this warm weather helping you kind of get things going with the arm? Oh, it's fantastic. Like, I'm coming from Washington, not used to this kind of weather this early in the year. So being able to get out here, take ground balls, take fly balls, be able to hit on the field, throw bullpens outside, it's really helped a lot. Uh, Coach mentioned it, you, you don't throw the hardest, but you find a way to get out. So what kind of a pitcher do you classify yourself as? I'm more of a finesse pitcher. Um, usually try to get guys off balance, um, try to sneak fastball inside every once in a while, but usually stay away and soft, uh, get guys out front, get ground balls. What's been your best pitch so far in fall ball and just so far this spring? Um, I've always had the changeup. That's basically all I've really thrown. So I usually stick with the changeup. What do you like better, playing the outfield or on the mound? Um, personally, I like playing the outfield because I get to hit that way. Uh, but I like to be able to get out there and also hit at the same time. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, you were a su su successful hitter last year as well. I think hit over 300, had 27 stolen bases, as Coach mentioned, uh, among the top three or four in the Big South Conference. Uh, what's, uh, what offensive adjustments have you made coming into this year, and what improvements do you want to see yourself make? Uh, I'm trying to stay more hitting it off opposite field, use my speed to get on base, and use my speed to get around, steal some bases, score some runs. How do you feel about the makeup of this lineup with so many new guys in it? Uh, it's awesome. Right now we got some big bats in the middle of the lineup. Um, new guys like Tyler Cox and Danny Grauer in the middle. Be able to hit home runs, score us. And we also got some more speed with Andy Smith in the top of the lineup. And always Mike Robertson, who has power and speed, which is always nice. Always important to have the, the right guys hitting behind you in that two hole and that three hole, you know, to, to try to, you know, move you around the bases there. Yeah, definitely. It's Awesome. Like last year, we had Matty Williams, yeah. scored me a lot last year. Uh, we had Doug Bream, who had a lot of RBIs. So it's always nice to have some big bats in the middle. All right. Well, uh, as we look forward to this uh, 2012 season, look forward to catching up with you here uh, again in the very near future, hopefully after you steal some bags uh, oh, yeah. down at Charleston. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good year. All right. Thanks a lot, Ian, and uh, appreciate the time. Yep, thank you. All right. That's Liberty Flames senior outfielder and pitcher Ian Parmley with us. And check LibertyFlames.com here in the coming days and weeks for more coverage on the 2012 baseball season. For the Flames Sports Network and LibertyFlames.com, I'm Nick Pierce.